Okay, a little update on the batteries, and I won't put any music on this one, I'll just talk. This has been going for three hours, or four hours, a bit, well, a bit over three hours, and it draws three milliamps when it's working from this battery. But before that, it was it was measuring much higher milliamps, more like this new one, which I finally got working, because I've been trying a lot of other ones. This is on the milliamp setting, here we go. Okay, that's that I consider healthy, you know, it's, it's big. Above 20 milliamps, I think we're doing well. Um, I haven't managed to get 200, though, like, uh, like I've seen on the uh, aluminium, aluminium air battery video, but... But I still think that's good. Now that usually runs my exciter, so I'm going to quickly give you a, give it a try on my exciter. Hold on. I haven't tried it yet. I'm just hoping this will work, so... Let's see. Fingers crossed. Okay, I'm going to connect it now to that corner. Is it going to work? Yay! It's working! That really makes me pleased, because I couldn't get it working again before. But, um, yeah, this one... This battery seems to be working much better. I've got a thick coat on it, so maybe that's part of the reason. It is a thick coat of graphene. And it really seems important to have your current collectors, because I tried it before without the current collectors, and that's not working. So I assume it, my main problem is current collectors, and the thicker the coat, the better. This is a thick coat on this one. All the other ones I tried with were quite thin, and so maybe that was the problem as well. Um, but anyway, yeah. So they're both going nicely. I'm going to keep that running. I'm not going to touch it. See how long this one will go for and then see if we can recharge it as well. But this one, well, I might just leave this one running now, but I don't know how I can run it under load. Oh, it seems to have stopped. Well, anyway, <laughs> you saw it working, so I'm glad that, that, that you got that. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or any suggestions, please put them under the video.